Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new class. How are you today? Evelyn, it's a pleasure. Jessica Carolina, hello. William, it's a pleasure. Welcome to a new class. And let's start immediately, right? I will share uh, the manual, right? If you have the, the manual, please check it out. Uh, last class, we were talking about some location, right? Because unit, unit number four is about addresses. And, and places, right? Addresses and places, right? We were watching this map. Remember this map? Okay, let's review. Uh, these are some places in the city. Here's the bank, the mall or commercial center, right? The restaurant, ah, by the way, we are on page number 39, right? Page 39 on your man. We have the Sport Palace. That is a, a, a store of sports, right? The school, the church. I suppose it's Catholic, right? The city hall or the alcaldia, right? The book world that is a, is a bookstore, right? Arroz Company, that is a company, right? A restaurant in the park. Besides that, we have uh, the first and the second avenue, Barrios Street, and Roosevelt Street. So we have two streets and two avenues, right? Two streets and two avenues. Okay. Very good. And here we have some questions. Look. Which street is the restaurant on? Mm -hmm. So here's the restaurant, right? Here's the restaurant. So what is the name of the street where the restaurant is located? What is the name of the street where the restaurant is located, right? Is Barrios Street or Roosevelt Street? Rosa Maria, what do you think? What is the name of the street? Mm, Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street, right? So the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Now, which street is the city hall, you know, Alcaldia, the city hall on? Street, no avenue, street. William, can you tell me, please? What is the name of the street where the city hall is located, William? Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street is the same. The city hall and the restaurant are located, both are located in Oh, sorry, Roosevelt Street. And the last question, right? Which street is the park on? Which street is the park on? Well, we have two, right? Two streets. Uh, Brenda, hello, Brenda, welcome. So where, what streets is the park located, Brenda? Yes, cuatro. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, welcome, Brenda. So here's the park. Look. So what are Sorry. The, what are the, the streets where the park is located, Brenda? Um Um 
I don't know. Okay, look, we have First Avenue, Second Avenue, Barrios Street, and Roosevelt Street. Now again, what streets? Look, or which street is the park located? The, the park on. We have Barrios Street, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue, and Second Avenue. So what streets, Linda? Ba Barrios Street. That's okay. Barrios Street and also Roosevelt Street, right? It's located between, en medio de, en medio de, between two streets, Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street, right? Okay, very good. So this is the location of this seat right now. We have the preposition of places, on, in, and at, right? In the past classes, we were learning about the preposition in, on, and at, but referring to time. Time, but now referring to, to location, right? On is for surfaces, superficie, right? In is for closed places, lugares encerrados, and at is for specific places, right? Specific places. Okay. Now let's work together, right? Complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. Compare with a partner, right? So, well, we're, uh, we're going to compare in class together. Don't worry. I work in the bank that is in, on, or at First Avenue. What on. do you think? On. On First Avenue. Okay. Perfect. On First Avenue. Number two. The factory is located in, on, or at La Libertad. In. In, correct. When we talk about cities or places, towns, we say in, right? No es que el lugar esté totalmente encerrado, pero como está entre medio de casas, árboles, edificios, right? So we say in. Correct. Now we see you in training room, on training room, or at training room. What is your opinion, class? The training room is a specific place in the company? Yes or no? Es eh, salón de capacitaciones, right? Training room. So, in, on, or at class, what do you think? Number three. We see you in, on, or at. Opinions, opinions, please. Come on, help me. Three of us. At. At. Very good. Excelente. Also, yes. At. And the cafeteria, right? In, on, or at. It's a specific place, too. What do you think? In. Well, yes, it's possible in. At. Well, a and A, too. If we talk about the, that the place is closed, si, si nos referimos a que el lugar es cerrado, we say in, right? Pero si nos estamos refiriendo como un lugar de referencia dentro de la compañía, vamos a decir at, ¿ok? Entonces, ambos son correctos. Vamos a poner at, right? Ok. Number four. Anna works in the company that is in, on, or at town. Town is Pueblo. Pueblo. In town. In town, correct. In town. Okidoki. My relative, that means mis papás, right? 
No, no, sorry, mis papás no, ma, ma, mis familiares, mis familiares. My relatives go to the mall that is in, on, or at Roosevelt Street. In, no, Dudley, no es on. in. On. On, correcto. No le dan caso a Dudley, que está equivocado. On. Yes. On Roosevelt Street. Uh, the name is incorrect, but you know, Roosevelt. Like the ex-president of the United States. Theodoro Ro uh, Roosevelt, right? Now, tell him that we are... Ah. Uh, ya está contestado, eh? <laughs> okay. Ya está contestado aquí. Okay, at the meeting room, okay? At, right? At the meeting room. Yes. Okay, class. So these are the uses of prepositions in, on, and at. I don't know if you have any question. Teacher. Tell me. Um, yo no estuve en la clase de ayer. No sé si I me know. puede dar como un eh, una breve, breve explicación cuando usar el, el on, el in y el at. Of course. Ahorita mismo o antes si se puede. Let me, let me see. Jonathan, right? Sí. Yes, okay, good. Uh, well, let me explain that we also use in, on, and at for time, Jonathan. Sí, cuando expliqué lo del tiempo, sí, lo, sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, solo la clase okay. de ayer es que ah, me he okay. perdido nada más. Ah, okay, good. Uh, aunque también ahí está el video de la clase de ayer, cuando usted guste, puede revisarlo en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero igual. Eh, bueno, on, in y at se usa para especificar tiempos, meses, eh, hora, etcétera, etcétera. Pero también nos indica uh, una forma de describir de la ubicación de algo en el espacio, dijeron, ¿ok? On, it's for surface, superficie. Todo lo que sea superficie, eh, on. Eh, la pared el suelo, la mesa, una calle, una acera, ¿ok? Todo lo que sea superficie, una cancha de básquetbol, etcétera, etcétera. Basketball court, right? street, floor, table, wall, on, right? On. Even the ceiling, right? Aún el, el cielo de la casa, si es plano ahí, pues si está algo ahí, anda una mariposa, el... <laughs> Una papalota, right? So we say on. The papalota is on the, the ceiling, right? It's that on. To, todo lo que refiere a superficie, on. Example, on Fourth Avenue. Como hablamos de avenidas y calles, on, right? On the street, on the avenue, on the corner. Mm -hmm. Ahora, cuando hablamos de lugares cerrados, decimos in. En un salón, en un edificio, right? Y cuando hablamos de ciudades, países, bosques, etcétera, etcétera, estamos hablando de, de un lugar que no es totalmente cerrado, pero que de cierta forma, por los árboles, las casas, los postes, eh, es parcialmente cerrado. Entonces decimos in, in the park, in the neighborhood, en el vecindario, right? In the country, in the town, in Cujucuyo, right? Etc., etc., right? In calzontes abajo, in calzontes arriba, right? Calzontes abajo o calzontes arriba is in Santa Ana, right? It's a town, right? Son los pueblitos ahí de Santa Ana. Okay, anybody knows? ¿Alguien los conoce? No. Yo no sé por qué la gente a veces se extraña cuando yo digo calzontes abajo, calzontes arriba. Es the name. Yeah. It's the name, right? The places. <laughs> so we say in, right? Porque aunque no esté totalmente cerrado, pero es un pueblito. Está cerrado parcialmente por árboles, por... Qué sé yo, por lomas, etcétera, etcétera, right? Ok, and at, finally, Jonathan... Uh, when we talk about specific place, cuando hablamos de un lugar específico, ¿verdad? 
está en la esquina, at the corner of the, of the building, right? At the corner of the, of the uh, classroom, for example, right? O cuando estamos hablando de direcciones, un lugar específico, ¿verdad? At work, at the bank, at Pizza Hut, at Pollo Campero, at the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So specific places, right? So on surface, superficie, right? In, lugar encerrado total o parcialmente, y at, un lugar específico. Understand, Jonathan? Sí, sí, teacher, ya, okay. ya capté la idea. Ok. Gracias. Eh, si re, me recuerdan mandarles un video para, para que les quede bastante claro, ¿verdad? Pero igual, vamos a seguir haciendo ejercicios. ya. Yes. Ok, let me see. This is it, right? Now let's start with the class of today. Let's begin with the class today. I will show you the presentation. Today is the class 17. <gasps> My goodness. 17, right? Tomorrow is 18. Friday, 19. And Monday we finish, right? Quiero recordarles que no deben faltar en ninguna clase, pero especialmente la de lunes. Por favorcito, así si quieren me inco, pero por favor no me vayan a faltar, ¿ok? Porque ese día vamos a hacer la encuesta de Insafor, ¿es? Y es un requisito para pasar el curso. ¿Ok? Good. Now, the attendance. Ready? Say present, please. Elsa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay, good, thank you. De oyente, ¿verdad? Okay. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Araceli. Hello, hello. Estenia. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome, welcome. Eh, thank you. You're welcome. Freddy. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Peru, Freddy. ¿Freddy? No. Ahorita se anda bañando ahí en las playas de Perú. Ok. Kenia. Present. Gracias, María. Present. ¿Todo bien, gracias, María? ¿No estuvo con nosotros ayer? Sí, ya no pude conectarme. Ni modo, ni modo. Pero aquí está, qué bueno. Delia. Present teacher. Thank you. Ada. Ada me dijo que tal vez no se conectaba. Bueno. Jonathan. Present teacher. Qué bueno que está aquí otra vez, Jonathan. Eh, René Alexi. De oyente, ¿verdad, René Alexi? Ok, ahí me ponen presente en el, en el chat. Thank you. Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Ingrid. Jessica Pérez está de oyente. Eh, José Atilio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. That's a pleasure, José Atilio. Ok, Brenda Lee. Alma Brenda Lee, nieto Elías. María René. Present. Ok. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Thank you. William. Present. Erenia. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Tenemos tres mensajes. Eh, Jessica Carolina. Ok. Presente. Right? René Alexi, presente. Y Jessica Pérez, presente. Ok. Estamos. Estamos, estamos. Good. It's time to work, right? Now, let's go to the presentation of today. Let me see. Here, right? Okay. Let's go to the presentation here.
Okay. Today I always forget to change the date. Give me a second. Today is Wednesday the 26th, right? Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this class, English Corporativo in Sapor. And the teacher Javier Gomez say, welcome. Welcome to this class. This is the class number 17. Today is July the 26th. And the topic is how to use there is, for singular, and there are, plus quantifier. Quantifiers. What are quantifiers? Words that we use to uh, count or to say one specific quantity, quantities. That's the reason we say quantifier, right? Okay. Now let's start with the objective. Mr. Vasquez Hernandez, Mr. Vasquez Hernandez, please, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Okay. Uniform address and place. I will be able to ask and tell people a specific location of play and duration sound around my workplace. My workplace. Surrounding, right? Surround. Rodeando. Sur rodeando. So surrounding, huh? So uh, this is about location and places, right? Location and places. Okay, thank you, Jose Atilio. Now let's start with a conversation. This is Will. And Will say, hello. Can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. And then he says, um, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Okay, give me a second, please. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? And Will says, Agar told me to go to the building on Main Street. And Tania says, mm, I know it. Lo conozco. Sé dónde está, right? It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers. Hay muchos centros de capacitación, right? Training centers. Uh, on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. So do you have any question? About the vocabulary in this conversation? Question, questions? Okay, good. So, let me see. We're going to practice pronunciation, right? Repeat after me, please. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, no, sorry. Don't worry. There are four buildings, edificios, right? Four buildings. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Which one means cual, cual. Which one do you need?
A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Down the street on the left side. Left. Left one. Right. Thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Something. Something. Something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers. Muchos centros de cap capacitación, right? There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers on the building. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Entrevista, right? I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, again, again. Ready? Repeat after me. Come on. Energy, enthusiasm, please. Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center?
there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Good. Now let's practice the conversation, right? We are going to use a special technique. All right, right. Let me see. Uh, Erenia, please. And William, right? Erenia, you're going to be Tania. Hola, nuevo camara. Ah, hello. Hola. Hello, Erenia. Welcome. Oña. Hello, hello. Do you copy? Sí, sí. Uh, oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> el, mismo, el mismo que apareció en, en algunas clases. Yes, I am the same person. And uh, also I have Dudley here with me. Uh, do you know Dudley? Hey, hello. Do you remember? Hola, Duolingo. Do you remember? Duolingo, come on. I, my name is Dudley. Dudley. Du Dudley. Yes, I am a dinosaur. 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 Yep. That's it. Bye-bye. Hola, me puedes ayudar? Hola. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, very good. You have company today, Erenia. That's nice. Sí. A, lot of, a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, let's go to the conversation, right? I repeat, Tania, you are uh, going to, I mean, Erenia, you're going to be Tania. And uh, William, you're going to be Will, right? But we are going to make a special technique. I will dictate the conversation and then you repeat. After you repeat, uh, I will show you the conversation, right? Okay, ready, William? Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Action. Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Hello, can you help me? Uh, where is the Melbury building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. Eh, <laughs> there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Do you need which one which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. To girl, to girl, building. To, to the building. Which one do you need? Oh, pardon. I get to to me. I get told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. It's down the street of the left side. Thank you. Oh, no, sorry. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. 
Is there a training center? Thanks. I... I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a... a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have. Um, thank you, her. I have some interview interview there. There you again. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. It's very difficult, William and and, and Renia. Yes. It's difficult, don't worry, I understand. And sometimes the memory is not so good, right? My memory, for example, is bad. My memory is terrible, right? So don't, don't put me, teacher, memorize this. Oh. <laughs> Very difficult, right? I have another message. Eh, ya estoy para participar. Okay, very good. Brenda Lee, nice. Let me see. Nieto Elias Prendali. Okay, good. So another volunteer, right? Uh, I'm gonna have Evelyn and Maria Rene. Evelyn, you are Will, right? Uh, Maria Rene, you're going to be Tania. Understand? Yes? Okay, yes. here we go. Okay. Again, I will detect the conversation and you repeat, right? Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Evelyn, Evelyn, 10-4, 10-4. Evelyn, Evelyn. Everything is okay with the microphone, Evelyn? Hello, hello? Okay, let me check. Do you want me to repeat? No, Evelyn is outside, right? No veo a Evelyn in la cámara. Okay, so uh, please, Maria Rene, you, uh, we're going to have Brenda Lee, right? Ready, Brenda Lee? Perdón, tenemos que leer. Ah, uh, no, I will explain. I will dictate and then you repeat, right? Look at the example. Maria Rene, are you ready? Yes. Okay, now. The conversation goes like this. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Hello, can you help me? Where is the live? No. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Okay, thank you. Now, Brenda Lee, listen, please, and repeat. Listen and repeat. Right? Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. 
they are four. Uh, four building, which one you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Linda Lee, ready? I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Repeat, please. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. The is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Yeah. Is there a training center? Yeah. Uh -huh, Maria Rene. Is there a training center? <laughs> okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Saving, right? Ahorrando. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. No problem. Es válido. Okay. So, uh, Brenda Lee, ready? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Maine and King Street. There are a lot, a lot of training centers. A lot of training centers. On the, centers. on the building between Main and King Street. On the building between Mill between Main and and King Street. <laughs> Yes, okay. Very good. <laughs> it's difficult, don't worry. Now, Maria Rene, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Very good. Now, Two more students, right? This is a challenge exercise. Un ejercicio difícil. So, be ready. Or like Salvador said, pónganse buzos. <laughs> okay. Now, who's next? Eh, Jose Atilio and Brenda Elizabeth, right? Jose Atilio and Brenda Elizabeth. Brenda, you are Tania. And Jose Atilio, you're going to be Will, right? Ready? Memorize the conversation. Le voy a dar unos segundos para que se la memorice. Ready? Jose Atilio, you begin. Yes. One, two, three, action. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, come on, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Hello, can you help me? Um... Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. 
Uh, well, can you help me? Uh, where? No. Hello, can you help me? Where is Hello, the okay. Melbourne building? I don't live here. Repeat, please. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which? Um, which one do you need? Which one do you need? Excellent. Ya lo vamos aprendiendo. Yes, that's nice, right? Was that till you ready? Yeah. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl, a girl told me to go to not remember to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Jose Atilio, ahora usted demuestre que también puede, ¿ok? Demuestre a Brenda. Ready? Mm, right. Let's go. Ok. Uh, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Then I have um I have uh to ask to ask some, something else. Um is there a cent and uh, is there is there a training center? Uh there are a lot of training centers yeah. on the building between Main and King Street. There, there are a lot on the training center. Um, on the building on the building between my the king king street i have some interviews there thank you again bye bye i have some interviews interviews mm, thank you Bye bye. Thank you again. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, very good. Congratulations. Do yes. Do Congratulations. Very good. Now, two more students. Two more students. Memorize. Please, uh, Jonathan. In Gracia Maria, right? No, Delia, sorry. Jonathan and Delia, right? Jonathan, you are Will. And Delia, you are Tanya, right? Memorize, memorize. Ready, Delia? Ready, Jonathan? Ready. One, two, three, action. I don't lie. Here. Hello. Can you help me? 
Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. Uh, there are uh, four buildings. Uh, which, uh, which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to to go to to go to building on Main Street. Okay, okay. Now I know it is down the street on the left side. I know it. It's down the street on the on the left side, on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. I have to ask, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers on the building uh, between Main and May and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Excellent also. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice, very good. We almost memorized. We casi la, la memorizamos. Now, next next couple is going to be. Uh, we have Delia, Jonathan, Gracia Maria, and Kenya, right? Gracia Maria, your will. Kenya, you're going to be Tania. Kenya, Tania. Gracia Maria will, right? Ready? Memorize, please. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Hello, can you help me? Um, where is the Melbourne? Which one? Building I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry, there are four buildings. Uh, which one do you need? I see. A, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the to the building on
on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. It's uh, down to the street on the left side. On the left side. Uh, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a train center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers and of the building between um between Main, Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you for your participation, right? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with the next two students. We have uh, Estenia and Elsa, right? Okay. Estenia, you are Will and uh, Elsa is going to be Tania, right? Estenia, okay. Will, Elsa, Tania. Memorize, please. Memorize. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Ready. Hello, can you help me? What is the marble building? I don't live here. Hello, can you hear me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't lie here. Live here, right? Okay. Uh, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Uh, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Can you repeat me, please? I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Um... Is there a training center? 
there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot, a lot of training centers between and Main Street and just in King Street. I have yes. some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Right. Good. good. Very good. Now let's continue with the class. There is and there are. Right. Thank you. Uh, Estenia and Elsa and all the members of this class, right? Sorry for the ones that cannot participate. Sorry. But uh, this is a good practice, right? Okay. He says, there is, there are. How do you say there is, there are in Spanish? I, 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 I don't know. I, I. <laughs> no, de ay, 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 right? Ay, 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 no. It's ay, de haber. <laughs> okay, good. But there, in English, the, we have a division. We have there is for singular, and we have there are for plural, right? Example. There is an, only one, ATM across the street. ATM means Aromatic teller machine. ATM. Aromatic teller machine, right? Uh, teller is cajero. Cajero, right? And automatic Machine, you know, it's automatic. No, we don't need a person. It's all the time there for you, right? It's all the time there for you in the commercial center, in, in restaurants, in in gas station, wherever you go, the, the ATM, right? So you say, there is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Rudolph Street and First Avenue, right? A recruitment center. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. No, sorry. Yes, there is no clothing factory around the corner. Around the corner. Mm -hmm. So singular. Only one ATM, only one recruitment center, only one clothing factory. Singular. There is. There is, right? There are is for plural. There are, there are a lot of companies. There are some supermarkets. There are no hospitals. There are some pupuserias en El Salvador, right? <laughs> there are. Plural. And also, we have to use the expression a lot of. Some supermarkets. A lot of. And some is quantifiers are words that indicate quantity, quantity, quantifier, right? Okay, good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Well, the sentence is negative because of the word no, right? Repeat it to me, please. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street.
there are no hospitals on Barrio Street, right? Okay, questions? Question with there is, there are? Well, this is easy, right? You say there is I, un lapicero, right? There is a, a pen. It's singular, right? But if you say there are two pens, it's plural, right? Both means I exist, I, I, I stand, right? I. But one is singular and the other is plural, right? Okay. Let's continue. Right? I have a message here. Okay. Uh, Ingrid. Japop. Oh, very good. Excellent, Ingrid. Nice. Conchi, are you there? Ya, ya vino Conchi también. No. Eh, Freddy. No, Freddy. Eh, Jessica Araceli. No. Okay. Let's continue, right? It's time to work. Time to work. Look, there is, uh, there is another message. Oh, present, Rene Alexi. Yes. Okay. Very good, Rene Alexi. Good. Uh, there is with singular nouns. We use there is for singular noun and use, we use there are for plural. Example, there is a small office. Hay una oficina pequeña. Downstairs. A parte de abajo. There is a large desk, big desk, and two windows. There is no elevator. Notice that we can say there is no elevator, or we can say there isn't an elevator, right? Okay. Now, is there a balcony? Yes, there is. No, there is. Now, in plural, right? There are three large rooms upstairs, in la parte de arriba, right? There are two windows and a large desk. There are no elevators. Are there closets? Yes, there are. No, there are, right? Notice that all of these, plural, right? Elevators, windows, uh, rooms, closets, etc., etc., right? Very good. And the closets are famous. Some people say going out of the closet. I don't know why. I don't understand. But closets in this case is plural, right? Plural. Good. Notice. There is, is contracted, there's, right? But when you answer the question, is there a balcony, you don't say, you don't say yes, there's, and no, it's, yes, there is, right? And there are, is no contracted, no contraction, no contraction, right? There, there, there are, right? Incorrect. Okay. Oh, sorry. Por aquí dejamos un mensaje encendido. Okay, good. Now, questions, class? Questions? Now, in the meantime, I will take the attendance for the second time. Ready? Say present, please. One, two, three, action. Elsa. Present, teacher. Jessica Carolina. Jessica Araceli, Estenia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you.
Okay, Jessica Aracel is not here today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Freddy. Kenia. Present. Teachers, That's, me levantaré yeah. un momento. ¿Se va a levantar? Un momentito. Yes, ya go, go. A... I me trae un cafecito y pam, please. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Now, let's continue, right? Eh, gracias, María. Present. Delia. Present, teacher. Ada. Jonathan. Present, teacher. René Alexi. Eh, Brenda. Present. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Jessica Pérez. Eh, está de oyente, ¿verdad? José Atilio. Present. Ok. Brenda Lee. Present, teacher. María René. Present. Evelyn. Evelyn. William. William Antonio. Present. Okay, thank you. Erenia. Present. Okay, that's it, right? Very good. And I have a message here, right? Uh, Rene, Alex, say present, right? Ingrid, say present. Jessica, Carolina, say present, right? And what this message? Y este mensaje, ¿quién lo puso? Barcelona is the champion. Oh. Nice. Good message. Right? Good message, right? Okay. Now, no questions? If you, you don't have questions, so it, let's make an exercise. Okay. Complete with there is, there are, right? Now, we're going to do something. We're going to the breakout rooms. We're going to go to the breakout rooms. And we're going to answer this. With there is, there are, right? Make a screenshot, please. Hagamos captura de pantalla, please. Captura de pantalla. Ready? Yes, ready? Ya todos hicimos captura de pantalla. Ok, vámonos al grupo. Entonces, eh, solo quiero avisarles que Jessica Carolina está de oyente. Eh, René Alexis está de oyente. Solamente, ok. Good. Y pues hoy no está con nosotros Freddy. Jessica Arely y Ada. That's it, right? De ahí estamos todos. Ready to make the breakout rooms? Are you ready? Okay. Okay, there are four groups, right? Four groups. We have Brenda Lee, Estenia, Jessica Carolina, que está de oyente, and Jonathan. Right? Group number one. Group number two. Attention, copy, please. Attention. Delia, apunten porque a mí se me olvida. <laughs> Delia, eh, Erenia, Gracia María, and José Atilio. Number three, Elsa, Kenya, Maria Rene, William. Okay, group number four, 
Ok, Brenda, Ingrid, Jessica, solo de oyente, y René Alexi, que están de oyente. Bueno, prácticamente en el grupo 4, solo Brenda e Ingrid van a trabajar, ¿verdad? Ni modo, les tocó. <ríe> ok, ¿ready? ¿Estamos listos todos? One, two, three, action, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Irenia, please. Ingrid. Ingrid. María René, please. Kenia. Go to the breakout rooms, please. ¿Cómo puede ser para que me envíe la reunión del grupo que me sacó? Ah, vaya. Este, Erenia, la voy a mandar al grupo 4. Bueno. Déjeme ver quiénes están en el grupo 4. Sí, al grupo 4 le va a mandar. Hola, no eres? me mandó no sala. Ahorita, permítame, permítame, que estoy aquí okay. calculando. Bueno, Erenia, al grupo 4. María René. Se me va a ir al grupo 3, María René. Ok. Uy, la mandé al 2. Bueno, al 2. Sorry. <ríe> ok. Jessica, please. Jessica Pérez. Go to the... Classroom, break up room, sorry. Listo, teacher, es que ya terminamos por eso. No, es que bien pilas este equipo. Chicos, pero creo que no alguien sé, nos Rick. va a preguntar. Si nos preguntan diferente, nos turnamos. Porque no Bye, sé cómo, cómo va a ser la Somos dinámica. El grupo uno, ¿verdad? El grupo sí, uno. El uno. Sí, ok. Grupo 1. 
Good one. Teacher, okay. ¿va a ser pregunta individual o, o todas? No por grupo, como son eh, ocho oraciones, dos cada uno. Ah, perfecto. Yes, okay. that's it, right. Ok. okay. Ya lo, to, ya lo... Todo... Sí, ah. ya lo terminamos. Solo iba a preguntarle al equipo que si todos lo copiaron. Ajá. Sí, yo sí. Yo sí. Yo, yo igual, no sé los demás. Contando que ha ido hasta ahorita. O sea, José Atilio le va a tocar. Va, ok, está bien. No worry. Que nos salgamos, dice. No, finish, finish. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, good, good, good. Bueno, ahí los dejo entonces. Voy al grupo 3. Yeah. Todavía nos va a dar tiempo, dice. <laughs> Yo digo que estamos ya, ¿verdad? ¿Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okidoki. Bueno, ya lo llamo entonces. Solo voy a ir a la sala 4 y nos vamos. Bueno. Hello, did you finish? Did you finish? No. 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 Ok, continuo. Entonces, ¿cómo tiene la F? Pienso yo que sería Derat. En la 5. Ajá. Sí, en la 5 habíamos puesto que era Derat. Ok. La, de las seis a las siete sí sería de árbol y la ocho ah sí la ocho Lo pudo ver a ti, León, no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ready for the action? Okay, simple, right? Group number one, you're going to read items one and two, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Yes. There is a movie at noon. Mm, number two, there is a concert at two and a game at three. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, group number two, please. Three and four. Three and four. Action. Number, th number three. 
there is a bank on the corner of España and 23rd Street. Number four, there are two office buildings across the streets. Okie dokie, nice. Okay, five and six, five and six. Uh, group number three. Five and six, group number three, right? No me pregunten quién son de los grupos tres que no me recuerdo. <laughs> okay. Solo sé que en el grupo cuatro estaba Ingrid. Group three. Group number three. Eh, mi teacher iba con okay. William. Y se me olvidó el nombre de mi otra compañera. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the name of the teacher? What is the name of the teacher? ¿Cómo? What is my, my name? What is my name? Javier Gómez. Ah, ok, good. That's a no. <laughs> ok. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to number five and six, right? Five and uh, six. Number five. There, there are supermarkets nearby. Nearby? Nearby? Nearby, sorry. Number six. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around Cafe the corner. Cafeteria. Cafeteria around the corner. Excelentoso, excelentoso. Okay. Group number four, right? Ingrid and company. Number seven and eight. There are two windows in the bathroom there are three elevators in the Cuscatlan building Cuscatlan building right very good now repeat after me please there is a movie at noon there is a concert at two and a game at three There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street. There are two office buildings across the street. There are supermarkets nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. There are two windows in the bathroom, in the pee, -pee room. There are three elevators in the Cuscatlan building. Okay, let's continue the next exercise. Are you ready? Let's go, right? Here I need volunteers. Yes, this is the last one. Uh, we're going to use question, right? Questions. Is there and are there? Listen, not there is or there are. Is, is there? Are there? And yes, you answer with yes, there is, no, there isn't, right? Volunteers number one. Is there a dance this weekend? Is there a dance this weekend? Question. And then you say yes, there is, no, there isn't, right? Number two. Are there? Are there three meeting, meetings three meetings this week? This week? Okie dokie. Number three, please. Mm, there is. Is there 
is there, is there right is there a bank nearby nearby good pronunciation atilo nearby is there a bank nearby okay number four This is more difficult, right? Uh -huh. Volunteers? Is there is... No. Are there... Are there... How many? How many? G uh, is... Are there this are afternoon? There. Are, are there... Are there... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, huh? sorry. R R. How many games? How Game. many games are there this weekend? This this afternoon. This weekend, as it says in the This afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many games are there this afternoon? Okay. Question five. How many pharmacies are there on the Third Avenue? How many pharmacies are there on the, oh, sorry, Third Avenue? Mistake, also. Oh, we're going to make it again, right? Sorry, class. Siempre un rosito de dedo. How many pharmacies are there? On their avenue. Okay, how many pharmacies are there on on Third Avenue? And number number six, please, ladies and gentlemen. Number six, ready. How many? Uh... How many parties are there this month? How many parties are there this month? Months. How many parties are there this, this month, right? Okay, I will make the question. Ready? And then you say, yes, there is. No, there aren't. Or you say, for example, three, four, five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, according to the question, right? There we go. Uh, Elsa, please. Is there a dance this weekend, Elsa? Excuse me, teacher. Is there a dance? Number one. Number one, Elsa, number one. Is there a dance this weekend? La respuesta es Cristóbal Colón. Cristóbal uh. Colón. <laughs> okay. I don't know, teacher. Invent. Okay. No, there are not. <laughs> no, there are not. No, no, there are. Good. Erenia, Erenia and company. Are there three meetings this week? No, there, there aren't. No, there aren't. Good. Thank you. Uh, number three, please, Jessica, no, no, Estenia. Uh, is there a bank nearby, Estenia? Solo recuérdeme que es nearby, please. Uh, cerquita, nearby, por aquí. Okay. Um, uh, the... Uh, 
My house, yes. My okay. work, no. No. Okay, so there is one in next to my house. There isn't one near my work. Say it again. Repeat, please, Estenia. Okay. Repeat, please. <laughs> is, there a, is there a bank nearby, Estenia? Uh, no, como, como hizo la... Ah, okay. Please. There, there is a bank near my house. There isn't a bank near my work. There is a bank... Ah, there, there is... is... Uh -huh. There is a bank my house. Uh huh. There is a not my work. There isn't. A there bank. isn't. A bank. A bank. Not my work. And there isn't a bank my work. Next to my work. Okay, good. <laughs> Number four, please. Number four. Mm. Brenda, please. How many games? 